I am convinced that the only people worth consideration in this world are the unusual ones. For the common folks are like leaves of a tree and live and die unnoticed. That's a quote from the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what a guy. That story has so many inspiring life lessons that were written in the 1900s and they still hold true today. The assertive heroine of the story, Dorothy and her faithful dog Toto, go on quite an adventure and learn valuable lessons along the way. Welcome to Flourish, where we explore how to nurture, coach, and inspire the next generation for success and let their genius blossom. I'm your host, Diane Planadin, and today we're going to talk about the Land of Oz because there were so many magical creatures, both good and bad, and what an imagination. My goodness. So we have a heroine, Dorothy, and her sidekick, Toto. There's the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, and a whole bunch of little good and bad witches and munchkins, and it's just a fabulous, fabulous tale. As this posse makes their way down the yellow brick road on the way to the Emerald City, they're off to see the wizard who's going to magically give them solutions to all their problems. And they learned quite a bit along the way. Dorothy, our heroine, she's a clever young girl and most inquisitive. I'm going to say it came across quite, quite well. And for example, when she first encounters the scarecrow, she is curious and asks him, Hmm. If you don't have a brain, how do you talk? To which he replied, and I'm going to quote this because it's really good. I don't know, but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking. <laughs> some people without brains do an awful lot of talking. That is just priceless. Oh my gosh. Well, of course, Dorothy asked him to join her to go see the wizard because the wizard's going to do some magic for, for Dorothy to get her home again. And uh, hey, maybe the wizard could give him a brain. So why not? Well, it turns out during their voyage that his quest was really for knowledge because the wizard tells him a baby has brains, but it doesn't know much. Experience is the only thing that brings knowledge. And the longer you are on earth, the more experience you're sure to get. Think about that. The scarecrow had never left his field. He'd never ventured out into the world. And he was, well, protecting this field and sacrificing his own self in order to learn new things. So experience life, get out there and dissect it for yourself. That is how you build your knowledge and grow your wisdom by experiencing life. Get out there, get out and play. As Dorothy and the Scarecrow continue their journey, they come upon a tin man in the woods who's all rusted and cannot move. Dorothy's able to help out the Tin Man and uh, oil his joints on his tin suit so he can move again. And the Tin Man goes on to tell them a story about how he does not have a heart. And all he wants is to be happy again and to love again. But he can't do it without a heart. This is very interesting as both the Scarecrow and the Tin Man believe that in order to be happy, one of them needs a brain and one of them needs a heart. The Tin Man proclaims, I shall take the heart. 
for brains do not make one happy. And happiness is the best thing in the world. Well, I don't think you can argue with that, but the debate just continues along in the story. And if you really want to dive deep into this story or when you're watching the movie, those two, they're really discussing the mind-body connection. They really are. And it's, it's one of those things where can you be happy if you have no empathy? Can you be happy if you have no wisdom? I'm just going to put that out there. So the Tin Man, he ends up actually showing great kindness along the way and empathy throughout their voyage, which is really what having heart is all about. But by the time he reaches the wizard, Oz tells him, hearts will never be practical until they're unbreakable. <laughs> That's... That was a very interesting quote from the movie, and I thought it was interesting because it's impossible. What is possible, of course, is acknowledging the compassion that he showed for even the smallest of creatures. Really dissect that. I think it would be interesting to take a, a, a new perspective and just really focus in on that. How compassionate the Tin Man really was. And finally, the Cowardly Lion, who should be fearless, but he does not have the confidence in himself. And he asks to join their voyage after Dorothy kind of calls him out on being a coward. So that part was kind of interesting. And, and the wizard actually ends up telling him, you are under the unfortunate impression that just because you run away, you have no courage. You are confusing courage with wisdom. Mm-hmm. That's something to think about. But you know, the cowardly lion had convinced himself. He had convinced himself through automatic negative thoughts. I heard that acronym the other day, ANTS that he was paralyzed. He was so paralyzed because he's convinced himself that he could not achieve his dreams and be courageous. In order to conceive this, he had to learn it for himself. Then he had to get rid of the ants and believe, believe he had what it takes. And finally, he had to achieve this by taking action action, moving forward. Conceive, believe, achieve. Simple words, powerful stuff. And the wizard told him that exact same thing. There is no living thing that is not afraid when it faces danger. The true courage is in facing danger when you are afraid and that kind of courage you have in plenty. Conceive, believe, achieve. Everybody can do that. So you see, they were looking for something externally to magically fix them from the outside. And through their journey, they discovered that they only had to look within. And this is a timeless message that I hope you share with your children, your students, your family. It's a great, great message. And, and what's really fascinating is at the end, what the wizard ends up doing, and I'm not going to tell you the whole movie, of course, <laughs> but he used the placebo effect. He used the placebo effect on this posse to really instill in them that you already have everything within you. And even Glenda, the, the good witch, she reminded Dorothy that um, you've always had the power, my dear. 
You just had to learn it for yourself. Yes, learning the hard way is sometimes the only way. And that is how we really get through to ourselves, isn't it? <laughs> I, I'd really prefer to learn from the mistakes of others. And I do try that a lot. But uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's an everyday event. This is something you have to practice every day. And you know, Dorothy did say, if I ever go looking for my heart's desire again, I won't look any farther than my own backyard. Because if it isn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. So she had gratitude, the scarecrow, wisdom, the tin man, compassion, and the cowardly lion, confidence. What a great combination. There have been many adaptations of this story throughout the years, and I hope you kind of look into different ones that might suit your own needs. There's songs, there's books, there's musicals, there's plays, so many different ways this story has been told. And another favorite of mine, I think, uh, I think it didn't get enough credit, is a movie called The Wiz, which, you know, Diana Ross, she's Dorothy, and Michael Jackson's The Scarecrow, and oh my gosh, the lineup is just amazing, and the music is just spectacular. So if, if you get a chance to watch a movie or read the book with your, your children or just read it for yourself, if you need a little inspiration, a little encouragement, a little bit of joy, a little bit of understanding, you know, um, you, you just sometimes need to be reminded of those life lessons. We are all born with a gift. We're all born with purpose. Life's journey down that yellow brick road is to hone and develop those gifts as purpose changes within. Be brave. Have courage and confidence. Be wise. Build your knowledge and explore this wonderful world we live in. Show others compassion as empathy will put you in their shoes. And be grateful for all that you have because there's no place like home. Live well. <laughs>